Hi everyone and welcome to the Friday webcast and I have to tell you I know you guys last two weeks there's been some delays in the webcast and I apologize about that but tonight I am on time but probably not as on time as you guys would have liked because it's about nine o'clock but it is still Friday. Um, I know some of you have been very frustrated because um, I think in the past week there were a lot of delays with um, just coming up against closed doors, you know, in this past week, not being able to feel like you're moving forward. Know that this is the universe's way of stopping things from happening so that the right opportunities could come along. Sometimes, you know, you might get so frustrated and hung up on, you know, the impatience of things not moving forward that you don't see that there's a larger plan to the situation. So I have a couple things I'm going to do for you guys today. We're going to do obviously our three card spread and then I'm going to show you the tarot cards that I started out with. We're going to pick one of those cards and see um, what comes up for you for this week. So I feel right now that this reading is going to go into probably Monday. Okay, so we, we're shuffling and seeing, seeing what comes up around that. All right, so here we go. Your seven of diamonds. Mm, look at that card. Okay, you are making way for new opportunities to come in um, as far as work is concerned. Okay, so that's coming up very, very clearly. Now you see the seven of diamonds, and I always talk about this, but there's a space in between. If the seven of diamonds was this way, that means you're full. The plate is full. Seven of diamonds is this way, meaning you've built a solid foundation, and now it's time to open every aspect of life and take on every opportunity. Okay, so July is going to be a very significant month as far as a brand new opportunity experience or adventure. So it's right here at you. It, it actually may be even talked about this weekend. So that's going to be really, really exciting. Two of diamonds. Commitment card. Okay, so in the next two months, now we look at May, June, July. That's two months from now. So we're talking about July. And now we have the number two with the actual commitment contract card. So this card is a signing of paperwork or contract or taking a deal or actually committing to something that connects to your purpose. Okay, so that's what the two of diamonds sign signifies. So if you look at the first two cards, we have the seven of diamonds, and then the two of diamonds. Remember, I said a big opportunity is coming, an opportunity that you've actually finally made way for. Okay, you've, you've cleaned everything out. You finally opened up the door for something new to come in. This is the actual commitment to that situation. Okay, so this could be a contract, this could be paperwork, a deed, or it could be signing um, for a new job. Okay, so these opportunities are there, but it is showing that this situation is very promising and you have two more months as far as when you will see, like right now the opportunity is not presenting itself because as you can see the, um, the energy is open, but in order for anything new to come into your life, the energy has to be open and, and be available. So you've opened up that energy by cutting some other things out of your life. Two of diamonds means this commitment is coming and it is long standing within two months. Okay, so let's see what else. This is so interesting. I love these cards. I I I, I just get so excited. I'm here getting excited. Are you getting excited? Because I am. Look, eight of diamonds. All right. Now that's really weird. We got the seven, we got the two, and we've got the eight. Okay. So we got July, we got the two for the next two months, and we got August. Now look at this. Look at all your diamonds filling all the space. Everything has fallen into place. That opportunity that was not there in at this point in time, see the space, has now been filled. So by August, things are actually in place and you will be able to move forward. This is amazing. Three diamonds. I, I can't get any better. I'm not even going to pick another card because I don't want to ruin it. But I'm going to show you something. These are my first tarot cards that I've ever used. Now look at, they're like life size. Okay. I was taught on these cards and I haven't really been using them since I actually learned how to use the, the playing cards because the playing cards are a little bit more accurate for me. It takes the pictures off the cards and it kind of gives me a little bit more room for improv. But the symbolism, I always teach morphing and symbolism on the tarot because you know, when I had classes and everything, I used to teach people to actually, before you get the clairvoyant visions, um, this is kind of like a stepping stone to that. So you can take images, um, be drawn to the symbols, and also be able to morph and interpret the symbols. And it helps with your clairvoyant ability. So let me see what kind of card I pick out for you tonight. Oh my goodness, you're a gem. Look at this. The 10 
a cups. Now, you're going to laugh at me, and this is pornographic right now because you see there's a boob there. That's right. Look, there's a boob on this card. Now, this to me, the Ten of Cups is, is a card of ultimate ultimate happiness and fulfillment. This summer is going to be very, very exciting for you on a lot of levels. Not just ambition and what I was talking about, but also this card always represents short trips or going away. So I also feel cruises with this card. So some of you may be booking a cruise or some sort of trip by boat over the summer. But it also means that you're going to be doing something creative, okay, also that's going to be making you money. So in addition to, I'm not even going to get into what the boob means because we're not even going to go there at this point because I'm not being drawn to the boob at this point. So I'm being drawn to the, the lower the lower part of this card. But this is like happiness not by material things but by the things, the abundance that really makes you happy. So you guys are going to have a really exciting summer. Okay, so obviously I bring out my old tarot cards and of course we have an indiscriminate card with a boob come up. Now, I don't feel comfortable talking about the boob but you know, I like to bring on some interesting guests. So we're going to get a male perspective on what the boob means in the Ten of Cups in the tarot card. None other than our Scorpio, Del, who you've heard twice on Into a Date Radio. He'll be right here. So we are going to look at the meaning of the Ten of Cups. So Del, what do you feel uh, for this weekend, if you'd like to show the card again so that our viewers can take a look at how obviously I mean it's doesn't even have a bra on it's an actual boob uh, on the card these are German cards so a German deck so they don't really care but Del is going to explain what the prediction is for the ten of cups for your weekend what do you think Del? well being called the ten of cups I think it's a uh, self-explanatory as it is um you know depending on what size you are <laughs> <laughs> and uh I mean who doesn't like boobs boobs are good right we all do we all do um, so my take on it is that, you know, well, since women, women are the, the, the givers of life and the nurturers, uh, you know, that this is just basically a representation of that, I mean, you hold, you hold your own cards and what the, what the fortune, um, and opportunities of this one bring, I mean, so, so you've got to bring to the table. <laughs> your, what? your what are they about your, to bring to the table the boob your boob and uh <laughs> you know your positive energy your motivation um your nurturing aspects and uh then the rest will provide for themselves uh, so your, if they uh, bring the nurturing this weekend into their situation whatever situation they that it will be that it's going to be a positive outcome is that what you're saying absolutely okay. absolutely i mean you know you you decide your own level of involvement the more you participate the more you're going to get back, what is it, you know, you give out to the universe and you get back tenfold. I mean, the same thing as tithing. So tell tell us about your view of participation in relationships, because I know this is a big one for you. Well, <laughs> all right, all boobs aside. All boobs aside. Well, well they're all nice. Not, you know, or, or just put back away, not to the side. Um, I think to to in a, in a relationship everybody has to uh, always keep their best foot forward as opposed as opposed to uh, as, as opposed to as opposed to just uh, you know doing doing giving their best at first. I mean you have to you have to maintain that. Um, I mean how were you when you first started dating? How were you in the first in the first three months? I mean I, I mean I understand things changes. Uh, you know things change. Uh, you know usually is usually usually comes uh, the things that that the <clears throat> my car becomes becomes the car. <laughs> now it becomes a car or our what? car, and th things that always, things that always go into that. Are you saying that men do the things women want them to do because women just want them, or do men, are are there some men out there that are romantic and all that other stuff that women want? Or is it just because men know that's what women want? Uh, a man—that's <laughs> uh, a serious a question. A man, re a man really has to go far out of his way to um, to do the romantic thing. Most men, I should say, most men uh, to do the romantic things that a woman wants. Um, back when, like back when I was, I was selling jewelry for 
Lord knows how many years um, with a lot of different demographics and types of people, uh, it was always the same thing. Like the man didn't want the woman's help um, because he wanted he didn't he didn't want her to come to the store because he wanted to feel proud about picking the ring out. Um, probably would have made it himself if he could. Uh, but he wanted to, that, that was a big deal for him. He acted like it was, but it was a very big deal for him. Um, and he wanted, he wanted to make the kind of presentation and, and he wanted to, you know, his woman to wear it with, with pride and honor because it's a, it's a direct reflection of his affection for her. Um, now, <laughs> <laughs> now, um, most times the man, the man didn't listen to the woman properly, uh, or get the uh, the hints like the forty seven catalogs of jewelry spread across the house, <laughs> you know, <laughs> circled of what the woman actually wanted, uh, and um, you know the uh, it just wasn't always received well, uh, but the feelings were still the same. Uh, so, but that's that's a man going uh, out of his way to try and and be romantic. Um, even if, even if it's a guy that that has pounded on a gate ten minutes after the jewelry store closed on uh, Valentine's Day and saying, "I really need to get in." <laughs> Do you have that happen? Uh, oh, uh, well, you know, I'm not going to put the guys out there like that, but um, uh, yeah, in, in coming full circle, that's even if it wasn't planned, uh, and it, you know, a better effort should a timely effort should have been made. Uh, it does not lessen at all the um, the affection and the value um, that the man went that far out of his way to try and, and please this woman. I hope that you guys just keep the faith. And with those ambition cards, I mean, you really can't go wrong. You know, August is going to be a wonderful, wonderful time. And I think by moving into the fall... You know, it's 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 really going to have your whole plan is going to be in place. So just hang tight and I hope you guys have a great weekend and always subscribe to our YouTube channel with our webcast and listen to Intuitate Radio tomorrow at three o'clock, 920 a.m. The Voice or 920thevoice.com live stream or you can listen to the podcast anytime and we have a lot of exciting guests and topics coming up. So I will see you next week and I hope that you enjoy the rest of your weekend and relax. Alrighty, I will talk to you soon.